Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Clay Ramage. We have a garage sale haul today. And yeah, we found some good stuff. It started out rather slow. We went to this one uh, area that said there was a neighborhood garage sale, which it was, and it was a townhome complex. And uh, so we went to a few, but we weren't finding very much at all. In fact, the very first item I bought was Mr. Santa. He's a Santa creamer. He's a West German. And yeah, I paid $3, which is more than I pay for most things. But um, I haven't looked him up. But I do think he's, you know, he's a good $15 Santa, I think. Overall, he's in really good shape, except for a little bit of paint loss there. So we'll go with Santa. And then at, like, the next sale, I found these Tupperware for a quarter each. Tupperware is, you know, it's not big money, but it sells, especially the colorful ones. So we did that, and then at another sale, the prices were great, I will say that. I found these vintage ashtrays, there's a nice green one, an amber one, all of these were a quarter, and then there's this nice large one. This is more of a cigar, because the holes are much larger. More designed for a cigar than a cigarette, but but for a quarter each, and they're all in excellent condition. So those go down to the pink elephant because we do well with our ashtrays down there. Um, don't remember exactly the next sale, but we did find another flower frog for a quarter, so definitely grab that one. Found Mr. Deer for a quarter. He's a plastic deer made in Hong Kong. Um, but again, these I usually put down at the pink elephants and uh, they sell well during Christmas time. Found some more Christmas items, which are these deer and sleigh, and they just threw the Santa in there. Um, I don't remember what the price was. I think it was 50 cents. Yes, it was 50 cents because I got this and this Santa, which is a hook Santa for 50 cents. So, and he's made in Hong Kong too, so. So some fun vintage things and found this little <laughs> Santa doll. What is this was? Mattel Arco Toys, 1995. So, so yeah, see, we found a little bit of Christmas, found a Minnie Mouse comb, nice vintage looking when it does it is missing a one of the tines from the comb but that's okay I just I don't know if it was missing it when I picked it up or not but then I also found these this Mustang 289 emblems off of a car they're marked one of the things you can always do is check the back because they'll be stamped like this says Ford on it so you know that's 289 goes to a Ford if you're not a car guy or gal this one also says Ford on the back. Of course, Ford Mustang. Everyone knows. These were uh, 50 cents each. But these these can demand some good money for people restoring their cars. So I always pick those up when they're cheap and inexpensive, let's just say. And then in, we went to this other area that said they were having neighborhood garage sales. And there, it was kind of false advertising because they said there's 150 homes in the area, many having sales. There were three having sales. But one of them was having a free sale. So they had two tables set out, everything free. So we picked up two scarves, this beautiful bow scarf. It's a satin scarf. Um, and yeah, just cute. I put these down at the Pink Elephant for 5 to $6.00 ones like this and this is the time of year that I sell a lot of scarves but then there's also this scarf which is a golf themed scarf put on by or made by Barthen McCallig who is a uh, accessories maker of scarves and shoes and stuff like that particularly golf themed stuff from what I can find but yeah this has a hand rolled edge it's a beautiful little scarf so for free, I had to pick that up, right? 
Then at another sale in that neighborhood, actually I should show you this, because this was the most amazing find. We found this, we went, the first garage sale we went to in that neighborhood, the three, this was the first one we went to, found this light fixture. I paid $10, which is, you guys know is a lot for me, but this is brand new old stock, never installed. You can see the cords have never been trimmed. Um, still has the Porcelier sticker. That's the other thing. Porcelier is a great name in vintage lighting fixtures. So always be on the lookout for that name. Um, and it's never been installed. It's brand new, basically new old stock. And it is in excellent condition, needless to say. So I paid $10 for it. I should be able to get 80 to hundred out of this beautiful fixture. It's obviously a ceiling fixture. Um, yeah, I was very surprised to find that. And the people said they had had it for years and we're gonna install it and never did. So now it was time to get rid of it. So I'm like, sweet, I'll take it. Then at the third and final sale, got a free lighter. That'll go down to the pink elephant. Found a tiny Matroitska doll. I don't know if this was the outside or the inside, but there's three of them in this little set. I paid 50 cents for. And then she was having five pieces of jewelry for a dollar. So I picked up four sets of earrings that I thought were interesting. This one I thought was very interesting. These. I'm missing one. Hmm. Sorry. That one. There's one. Oh, there's the other one. And then there's this pair. And there's, these are marked. That's why I picked them up. These are marked 925. So these are like a sterling silver. These were marked too, but I can't really read what it says. Monet. These are marked Monet. That's, now I can read it in the better light of the shop here. So for a dollar, I picked up some of those. All right. So then we went to... Then I said, okay, well, let's go. There was a sale in Chanhassen, Minnesota that I saw advertising. So let's go to that. So punched in the GPS. We started heading there. And on our way, we started seeing some other garage sale signs. So, of course, we had to stop, right? So at one of them, there was um, numerous items. So I picked up this Pyrex lid. This is a white lid. Um, it's number 648C. And I did pay up for it. I paid $3, but sometimes the lids can be worth, they were advertising it as a bowl, um, but it's actually a lid. And these can be worth more than, and see, this was did have a silver line around it. So probably had a design on top at one point, but it's worn off. But lids can be valuable because people, they get broken and people want to replace them. So I picked that up at that sale. And then I also picked up this Barbie case. Now it does have some condition issues. It's got some few dings here and there. And these aren't big dollars, um, but this one is dated 1961. It's the black case, it's a beautiful case. This was marked a dollar. So I grabbed that one. I grabbed this one, the Mickey Mouse Club case, which was also marked a dollar. I didn't even look to see if there's anything in here. Nope. Um, and this one has some tape residue across the top. I have to see if we can do anything about that. But if not, I'm not going to worry about it for a dollar. I'm sure I can get five to ten out of it the way it is. Cindy then found this bag of sample perfumes. I don't even, we don't even know what all is in here. So we'll have to take a look and see um, what different names are in there. But the sample perfumes, I've done well at these, even if I sell them for a dollar each. The whole bag was only a dollar, so um, yeah, should be should be a good deal. But this was the piece that amazed me. It was a bag, it was marked 1960s Barbie Outfits um, for $4, a whole bag. And you can see the tags, They're, they are the Barbie ones. This particular jacket with the fur collar I've had before and that, I believe, I sold for $20. 
that dress says Barbie right on the dress. And I know a guy who is like a Barbie expert. And what I do is I send him like a bag of these clothes. He will go through it and he knows exactly which ones are worth money, which ones, you know, worth a few dollars. He, he then picks out any that he wants for his collection and pays me for them. And I bring the rest back and sell it. So it's a great deal. So it's kind of good when you can find experts and you get bulk deals, you know, where you can work out getting your money back right away by selling them stuff. And then the rest just is profit that trickles on, you know, a little bit at a time. And if you get enough of those going, it generates some pretty good steady income. All right, now the rest of these, I'll be honest, I don't remember what sales we found, what it where, but um, I picked these up because it has the Dalla horses on them and we sell a good number of those at the Pink Elephant. So I thought these would be great for down there. They were $10.95 brand new. Dalla horse playing cards. Oh, and they're still sealed in their, in their box. So I'm good with that. And these were at the same sale as the Barbie stuff. Now that I think about it. So that was good. Then we found this Fisher Price tugboat with the one person um, from the 1970s. That was a fun find. Found another Tupperware. I do have the lid for this and another lid that was in the free bake box. So this green Tupperware bowl. Found that. Found this Mexican pottery owl for a dollar. Found a couple vintage t-shirts, which I don't normally get into, yeah, but I just, see you later, Gator. Love that saying, love the shirt. And this was dated 1989, and it's single stitched around the sleeves. Um, and it's a Hanes Beefy, which is always a good brand. So I just, it's very much 1980s look. And then this one, it's got a big stain on. I gotta see if we can get the stain out. But this is a Walt Disney World kids t-shirt. But it's of the Animal Kingdom, which we love the Animal Kingdom. And it's got the Triceratops on there. I thought that was great. But there's a stain right on each footprint for some reason. So we'll see if we can get that out. But other than that, they were in good shape, no holes. And then another great find was a scale. Now this isn't really old, but it's got that old look. It's all metal and except for the, the tray, the tray is plastic. Um, and it was only $2. So we put these down at the pink elephant and they, they sell fairly quickly. And the other thing I ventured into was the hat world. I know some guys sell a lot of hats and make a lot of money. Doing hats, I'm not that big, but I love this one. Let's get weird. Um, that'll go down to the pink elephant because that's the kind of clientele that does that would buy that down there. Um, History in the running, Canterbury Park race, you know Canterbury Downs, a racetrack. So that was I thought was a good one. Pittsburgh Paints, that's a good brand. And these are all vintage trucker hats, and the foam's in good shape. For the most part. Uh, Maxwell House Coffee. One size fits all. Made in USA. Um, so yeah. So I thought, and they were a quarter each. Can't beat that. So those I'll list on eBay. And the let's get weird. I'll go to the pinky. Um, so yeah. So that's pretty much. Oh, how could I forget? They're just sitting right in front of me. About five of these beautiful eagle glasses. They're in different colors. This one's the blue one. The others are all still wrapped. Um, and they are um, five of them in the set for $4. These will go down to the pink elephant because this is the type of stuff that people buy. Um, and I don't know what I'll put. I'll probably price them individually at like $6 each. So people can pick and choose what they want. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, darn. I didn't realize this when I bought it. It's broken. It's got one of its tree limbs are missing right there. 
It's a beautiful glass Christmas tree. Paid a dollar for it. It's very heavy. So it's definitely lead crystal. But now I'm disappointed that I didn't... I thought I checked it over pretty good. Maybe I broke it off. Could have been me, I suppose. But we had it wrapped pretty good. But anyway... Um... Now, I... Sorry, I was... I was thinking of splitting this video into two, but I'm going to uh, um, go ahead and finish because it didn't take as long as I thought to get through the first part. So I'm going to show you um, some great stuff that I found. At this one sale we went to, all of this came from that one sale. Um, and... Bang. This is a bag of free stuff, which there's a lot of awesome stuff in that free bag. But let me show you what was in this bin. There's two of these sconces. And she said all the parts are in here, all the crystals to, to um, you know, complete it. They're all in there. Look at this. Isn't that just fabulous? So there were two of them. And I paid, I'm sorry, I'm looking at this. It looks like that's broken. Hmm. That's the bracket that was supposed to hold it onto the wall and it's broken. On the back, sorry. See right there? That should have been one whole bar. Looks like somebody snipped it. That's kind of weird. Anyway. So I have to go through the whole bin and see if they're all complete. And I'm a little disappointed now as I look at that. Um, but yeah. Fantastic fixtures. The other one's the exact same way. So maybe it wasn't... Maybe it, I don't know. We'll have to check that out. But yeah, I paid $40 for those two sconces. Because um, they're absolutely fantastic. Those finials. Crystal finials. She had bins of those types of crystals and fixtures. And I was like, okay. I asked her what she'd want for all of the bins, and she said $250. And I thought, what am I going to do with all these bins? It would take me forever to get through them all. So I decided just to go for those. Anyway, little bag of beads. Beautiful, ornate um, book stand or picture stand. Miniature teapot. So a little bag. These are all in the free box. So, yeah. This little plastic. I think it was kind of like a purse. Like a Barbie purse or something. Don't really know. Um, oh, it's beautiful little made in Japan coral singer. Or carol singer. However you want to... Yeah, there's only one of those, I believe. I don't even remember what all we got in this free box. Oh, yeah. There's this little... Would have been on a stand. Um, but it's only partially there. But I thought that was pretty. And then... Some more odds and ends. What is this? There was something sitting. This is a base for something. But that's okay. I'm like, I'll try it. Price is right. Oh, a couple pieces of doll furniture. Dresser. Wardrobe. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of little miscellaneous pieces. Little spoon. Silver plate. These picks. Decorated. picks. These are plastic. Um, oh, the TV! The console TV! I <laughs> love those. We used to have those. Everybody used to have those. Pretty much. Um, yeah, more of those picks. 
Ah, the miniature candlestick. Oh yeah, we didn't know what this was. It looks like a button. It's a button. So, nice fun button. And then a box. It's a beautiful box. I don't know exactly what would have been in it. it looks like a stamp. it looks like you can see somebody stored a stamp because it's all stamped on the bottom well fun that's a fun little box i sell little boxes like that down there oh and the hotel ritz lisboa bag all right now we're done with this video thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed our little garage sale haul catch you next time